the Efficiency for Access Design Challenge. Nearly 800 million people still lack access to electricity. To reach these people, we must come up with creative solutions. The Efficiency for Access Design Challenge enables teams of university students to create affordable and energy efficient appliances and technologies for low to middle income countries. Efficiency for Access is a global coalition working to promote high performing appliances that enable access to clean energy for the world's poorest people. Appliances can enable children to study at night, empower women and help families earn a living. This design challenge is important because as we know, and this is something we strongly believe, energy is cornerstone for any societal development. Unfortunately, we know too that about a billion people don't have energy access, so energy needs aren't being met. So the challenge sparks innovation and sparks learning. And we all know that the billion people without energy access now, they're really hard to reach and innovation is key to change that situation. So we're happy to fund that innovation challenge. Throughout the year, Efficiency for Access ran webinars, networking, and interactive events for students, which aim to enhance their understanding of the off-grid appliance sector. Student teams were also paired with mentors who provided them with structured guidance to create their projects. Here are some of the highlights from year two. What inspired us to take part in the design challenge was that we wanted to use our engineering skills to create a positive impact in society and actually make a difference in people's lives. So our highlight to date was using the information from the webinars as well as the interviews we conducted with our external mentor and the professors at the university in order to continuously tailor the device to meet the needs of the local community. Industry experts presented at webinars to explain the challenges and opportunities involved in creating off-grid appliances. A webinar focused on gender, disability and social inclusion to encourage students to design with these principles in mind. If you leave social inclusion unaddressed, this can be very costly to individuals so they can actually have loss of wages, overall reduction in lifetime earning, impact negatively on their education and their employment, and then specifically looking at racism, discrimination, and mental health, those have unique, in addition, um, negative impacts. Another webinar looked at the challenges around the electrification of healthcare facilities. There's a serious gap, there's a serious problem, both on, on access to power, so just having reliable, having electricity to begin with, and then also the reliability of that power. So we do see a lot of health facilities that may be connected to, to some kind of an, uh, an electrical grid or a mini grid, but then the, the reliability of that power is not up to par, which of course has very negative um, impacts on, um, on health service delivery. The Career Conversations event enabled the participants to learn about potential career paths from industry experts. I would really urge you to explore, widen your, um, widen your thought process, widen your learning, and also if you're a technologist, it's also good to have understanding of economics, uh, how will this work, have some understanding of how things work actually at the ground level and it is not only like a technical know-how. Students were able to pitch their ideas in front of a panel of expert judges in May. Here is a sneak peek at the pitching sessions. So the objective of our project was to develop an efficient and DC compatible oxygen concentrator that has the same capabilities of an AC concentrator. We aim to grant access to life-saving medicine to previously unreached communities, adapt existing technology, and as a result of that, reduce mortality and improve the quality of life for many. Our design minimizes water requirements through a closed loop water circulation system. In our design, two liters of water was required to grow one kg of hydroponic fodder compared to 73 liters for one kg of conventionally grown barley fodder. Dis disabled people are, pe are usually cut out from agricultural activities in Uganda, which limits the, uh, the number of income sources they have. And since agriculture, the subsistence agriculture is usually labor intensive, that usually cuts them out. So we developed this system uh, with uh, people with disabilities in mind. 
During the material selection, recyclable materials with lower overall embodied carbon were selected to reduce the lifetime impact of the machine. The submissible pump at the bottom of the tank pumps water at a sufficient pressure to the ultrafiltration filter, the DAS filtration. As the water flo flows out of the filter, the pipe is fitted with an ultraviolet light emitting diode, a UV LED, that does instantaneous water purification of the water. But it's important to know that each solution that is being proposed here actually is speaking to an actual challenge that exists on the ground. And therefore, you know, um, even as the competition goes, um, this should not be the end of the innovation. Just the, the fresh thinking, the creativity, the energy um, behind all of your submissions is fantastic. And I think um, really uh, it, it's wonderful to know that there are these great minds um, addressing these huge challenges that we all face. Well, all of you have tried to answer one specific development challenges. Uh, and, and I think that's very important, uh, irrespective of what, what the outcome is. I think you all should be proud of your efforts. Your, your ideas are, are so um, so necessary for, for the challenges that we see today. And so it's, it's very inspiring for someone like me who does this, has been doing this for about 20 years, to see such great ideas uh, coming forth. Climate change and its impacts are already having a devastating effect around the world. Innovation and technology are key to tackling this global crisis. So I'm inspired to see the innovative ideas put forward by students to improve global access to clean energy. The UK will use our COP26 presidency to drive global change and help vulnerable communities access clean energy and build resilience to climate impacts. Ideas like these are invaluable in building a greener, more sustainable and more inclusive world. Learn more at efficiencyforaccess.org slash efficiencyforaccessdesignchallenge. For